In this video clip, we will make use of our virtual casting yard with our two molds and two service stations, and we will continue with our casting sequence by casting the first match cast segment. We can click on global on view global and we return to the view of our bridge. The green segment here in the middle is the pier segment, which we have already cast, and the blue segments to either side are the two segments that can be uh, cast next, match cast against the pier segment. We have selected the first of, two, of the two um, casting sequences, and we are ready to set out the first match cast segment. As always in uh, this software in Geocon, we need to click next to initiate the next step, which is the setting out step for our first cantilever segment. And just like with the peer segment, we are getting the setting out data, except now we are getting the segment setting out data for the conjugate segment down here and the match cast segment in this window. Just like for the peer segment, we are still working in local coordinates, which are measured from the center of the bulkhead into the new segment and on into the conjugate segment. And just like for the peer segment, we will probably want to um, rotate the segment to a horizontal surface and position it in the middle and center central to the bulkhead. We do that by using the control points A to C rotates the surface in the horizontal position and aligning the B control point with the center of the bulkhead moves the segment into the middle of our mold and if we look at the coordinates now we can see that here is the match cast segment we have three control points close with a small x co uh, coordinate close to the bulkhead we have three control points here which are between 3.1 and 2.2 two meters away from the bulkhead so that is already at a angle and that signifies the the pie shaped form of this segment not realistic but it brings it out quite clearly and here we have the control points at these distances and these distances away in the conjugate segment this is the peer segment that we have already cast and it has now been moved into the conjugate position. Again, we are working in local coordinates with the origin placed in the middle of the bulkhead and the X axis pointing into the segment and the Y axis in a lateral direction. Let us make use of our virtual casting yard now. Up here we have the set mold button and we can select a mold in which to cast this new segment. Let's select mold number one. We have selected mold number one. We've kept our rotation and translation data here, but down here the coordinates, they have changed. The coordinates are now given in a casting yard coordinate system, the, the very same casting yard coordinate system that we have used to define our virtual casting yard. If we accept this data, we can now go back to the casting yard view and we can see the situation in the casting yard. I mentioned the pie shaped form and here we can clearly see the pie shaped form of our first match cast segment and here 
we have the conjugate segment, our peer segment, placed behind it. This is the situation that was reflected in the sitting out data we have just seen. Remember when the sitting out data was displayed for this setup, we got the coordinates in the casting yard data. Sometimes it's more convenient to get the data in the survey station data for the survey station that's actually responsible for the mold. And we can do that. We can go back to the global view and we can go back to the setting out dialog by clicking on correct. And here we are again back to the sitting out dialog with our casting yard coordinates for the sitting out data and we can now select a survey station with which to observe our um, new segment. We can pick either one of the two survey stations. Let's stick with survey station one which is the one in front of the mold and just like that our coordinates have changed again and we are now getting the setting out data in a system that has the survey station at its origin and in the directions of the survey stations just like we've defined it. If we accept that now and if we go back to the casting yard view, here is our survey station and now in the setting out data this survey station here will be at the origin of our setting out coordinate system. Quite obviously, we can pick and choose between new three different coordinate systems for the setting out data. The local system that sits on top of the mold and doesn't really care which mold we are in. The casting yard system, which has the casting yard as its reference system. Or the service station system for either service station that we select. Let's click on next. And this time we have to do an additional step in our sequence of events to build this next segment. We have to check or correct the mold position. The program wants us to check up on our mold to make sure our casting cell is still in the same spot and if it isn't, survey it and make sure the program knows where the cell is positioned and how it's aligned. Once we are sure and happy that our mold is in the position we thought it was, remember double clicking here, we can actually check on the data, our mold control points, they're all known from previous clips. Once we are positive about our mold, we press accept and the program now produces the um, casting information for the casting yard and the casting yard can do its work and produce the next segment. Once the segment is cast and the surveyor has surveyed uh, the, new, the control points in the new segment and in the uh, conjugate segment, we can click on next again and we are now ready to fill out the survey data so the program can calculate our casting errors, if any. Remember, we can press on set ideal and the program will pre-fill the survey data for us with a perfect uh, geometry. As I've mentioned before, the default setting is for um, deviations to be input in the program. So we are not asked to input the actual coordinates in whatever system we are working in, but instead to input the deviations from the perfect coordinates. Sometimes that's exactly what the surveyor wants to give us. In other occasions, the surveyor will prefer to give us the coordinates. Let's cancel this step and let's switch to the actual coordinates. The options di dialog has input measurement data set to offset and we can now switch to absolute. So the program will um, ask for the actual coordinates now instead of the deviations. 
and if we wanted to the output we could switch that to absolute as well and then in the output uh, in our report we will have the actual coordinates okay we cancelled our survey step and if we step back into it and press set ideal once again we are now confronted with actual coordinates here we can still switch to another system but at the moment we are switched to the mold system from as seen from service station number one let's assume one more time that we have done a perfectly correct step everything is absolutely aligned and in order we have done it again we have cast our first match cast segment and we've done it in perfect style with perfect geometry our uh, casting tolerance report says that as well press ok and if we go back to global view we can now see that we have our peer segment in green and our first match segment here also in green indicating that these two segments have been cast the blue segments are the two segments we can set out next we will play with those in the next video in this series